Jesse James Palmer gives it to Jacquez Green, who gets it to Jamie Richardson for the score. Seven nothing Gator Steve Spurrier calling it the pass and pray offense. Third quarter tied at 10. Palmer having some trouble, though. Picked for the second time by Brad Ware. Palmer eight for 14 for 92 yards and two picks. He is bumming. Former walk-on Noah Brindice warming up. Damian Craig having his troubles too. Under heavy pressure all day long. Chased by Javon Kurse. Kurse knocks the ball loose. He would lose 20 yards on the play. Craig sacked nine times in the day for 81 yards. Yet the score was still even at 10. Brindice capping off a 97-yard drive with a 10-yard pass to Jacquez Green. Gators up 17-10. Fourth quarter. Auburn looking to tie. Tyrone Goodson fumbles it. Mike Peterson. Knocking it loose, Fred Weary picking it up, getting it back inside the 10. Jacquez Green runs it in for a score, so he threw one, caught one, and ran for one. And the Gators escape with a 24-10 win thanks to a defense that held Auburn to a high. Said losing to Ole Miss would be like climbing Mount Everest and then falling off. LSU down 7-0 in the first. Herb Tyler, the option keeper, he breaks loose. A 72-yard touchdown dash ties the game at 7. Still first quarter, Rebel quarterback Stuart Pottridge finds Andre Roan over the middle. Streaks up the sidelines, gets a great block right there, and gets down to the one. Deuce McAllister takes it in from there, 14-7 Rebels. In the second quarter, Kevin Falk, 13 yards out, gets his second touchdown of the quarter. It's 21-14 LSU at the half. Falk, 25 carries for 172. Third quarter, LSU up 21-20. Tyler scrambling, hit by Andre Harrison. Armija Spearman recovers the fumble, and five plays later, Pottridge finds Alishma Alexander, his first catch of the season, an eight-yard score, puts Ole Miss up by five. Fourth quarter, 26-21 Ole Miss. Pottridge, the great pump fake to Grant Hurd, 60 yards later to ice it. Rebel coach Tommy Tuberville gets the early shower. The Rebels win this one, 36-21. Denardo warned that Ole Miss, the Ole Miss, Tussle with Tennessee at Legion Field. Late first quarter, Tennessee down 6 0. First and 10 from the Bama 19. Peyton not passing. Sean Bryson running 19 yards for the score. 7 6 Vols. Second quarter, Tennessee up 14 6. Now it's Peyton passing on third and 14 to Jermaine Copeland for the touchdown. 21 6 Tennessee. Third quarter, Terry Fair waiting for Alabama's punt. He'll never get it because Eric Brown blocks Daniel Pope's punt and then falls on it. Tennessee's ball at the Bama 16. Two plays later, Manning is going to take control to Copeland. Great catch. Manning's second of three scores in the game. Tennessee wins at 38-21. Bama got the first six game just inside the second quarter. Tavian Banks, 53 yards, and gone. Longest offensive play allowed by Michigan this year, and of course it's Banks. He is the real deal. Iowa up 13-7. Called a couple timeouts to make sure Michigan had a punt before halftime, and it's a good thing because Tim Dwight's running around until he breaks free, and he is gone. 61 yards. Iowa gets a two-point conversion and a fat momentum builder right before halftime. They're up 21-7. to They're up only 21-14 in the third quarter. Banks rushes 16 yards. Gives him 1,000 on the season. More on that in a moment. He's got, what is that, platinum hair? Lloyd Carr looking on. Freshman tailback Anthony Thomas does his best Tavian Banks impersonation. He breaks it free. He's going all the way down inside the five. 58 yards. Sets up Brian Greasy's quarterback sneak from the one on fourth and one time in the game at 21. Three minutes left. Iowa up by three again. Jeremy Tooman wide open in the end zone. Michigan takes the four-point lead. Hawkeyes mount a final drive on fourth and nine. Matt Sherman finds Damon Gibson 22 yards in the first down. Sherman had only 89 yards passing on the day, but 61 in this drive. On third and 16 now, he finds Banks for 30 yards and a first down on the very next play. Sherman looking for another receiver, but instead finds Sam Sword. He's wearing a blue shirt, and Sword sticks the dagger in the heart of Iowa as Michigan wins 28 to 24. Brian Greasy had three intercept problems with Minnesota. Mike Lamanzer hits Mike McQuarrie, and Ben Mazzara falls on the loose ball. Joe so Paterno, bummer, stalking the line, sidelines. Leaves Penn State with trail 12, 12 to 3 in the third quarter, and Curtis Enos coughs it up. Golden Gophers would look for some insurance. Adam Bailey with four field goals on the day, looking for his fifth, but the kick is blocked. Penn State is still alive.
the very next play, Mike McQuarrie trying to rally the lines. His pass. There's Ben Mazzara again off the tip. That would lead to a school record fifth field goal by Adam Bailey. It is 15 to 3 Golden Gophers with nine minutes to go. McQuarrie looking for Curtis Enos. Pass interference called on Crawford Jordan. This is when Penn State began to get all the breaks in this game. He is way out of bounds. Still gets the call, does Enos, and then Enos gets the call. The he next play, six yards, touchdown, Penn State down now 15 to 10. Thomas Hamner for the Golden Gophers had 154 yards rushing on the day, but fumbles way inside his own end with four minutes to go. Linebacker Jim Nelson for Penn State called it a gift from God, and Enos takes that gift and runs it in, and Penn State wins 16 to 15. Someone left the cakewalk out in the rain. 90. And this day, under a minute left in the first half, no score. Thad Busby to Damian Harrell. Watch the catch. Harrell comes down with it in the end zone. 7-0 Florida State at the break. That's all, 7-0. Georgia Tech continuing their punting trend in the second half. Their first possession, Rodney Williams pins the Seminoles at the 1. 12 punts for Williams on the day. First, or then Florida State would march at 99 yards. And on the 12th play of the drive, Travis Miner, Gets the last 27, 14-0 Seminoles. Next possession, Joe Hamilton picked off by Tay Cody. Seminoles' number one yardage defense gives up just eight first downs and 144 yards. And on the very next play, Thad Busby to E.G. Green burns the Tech defense for a 66-yard touchdown. They scored twice in 79 seconds to put it away. 38-0 Florida State. At halftime, Bobby Bowden said he was begging a little more than NC State. NC State, Jamie Barnett taking a beating all game. They didn't look past him. Late in the first half, he gets flattened by Kay Mays. That stalls a drive. 10-7 Tar Heels in the fourth. Jonathan Linton getting a lot of work in the rain. Linton gets 17 yards here. He had a career-high 34 carries for 177 yards. Next play, Carolina runs the flea flicker. Oscar Davenport gets rid of it under pressure. Hits Octavis Barnes, 54 yards. Linton goes in from the three from there, and the Tar Heels go on to a 20-7 win. That quarter, 9-7 Wildcats. Adrian Autry, no relation to Darnell, takes the handoff. Fights for the 15-yard touchdown. He had 100 yards in the first half, 175 total against the fourth-ranked rushing D in the country. Third quarter, Spartans down 16-7. Todd Schultz to Josh Kerr. Kerr bobbles, but then hangs on and gets the score. He had 11 er, catches for 100 yards. The Spartans within two. Nick Saban trying to figure out how to get him over the top. Late fourth quarter. Spartans move the ball 67 yards to try to win. Kerr with a 10-yard catch. Then Mark Renaud with the five-yard run. Setting up the chance for a winning 28-yard field goal. Chris Gardner, 25 of 26 inside the 30. Blocked by Antoine Jones. Northwestern escapes with a 1917 upset win. Michigan State caught looking ahead to Michigan. Today it was Indiana. Second quarter, Buckeyes up 14-0, but Indiana driving Jay Rogers. His pass picked off by Clinton Wayne, who goes 43 yards for the touchdown. Just two plays after the Buckeyes had scored, set up by a 42-yard interception return. 21-0. Dan Stoltz, 55-yard field goal attempt. That's the longest ever at the horseshoe. Just four yards short of the Buckeye record by Tom Sklodany. Ohio State up 24-0. Third quarter. Ohio State inside the Indiana 10. Yep, that's Michael Wiley, who also ran for a touchdown, throwing to Steve Wisniewski for one. The Buckeyes bounce back for a four. They're three and two at UCLA. Fourth quarter, UCLA up 17-3. Bruins at the Beavers 33. Cade McNown to Jim McElroy for the touchdown. 24-3 UCLA, the 14th touchdown pass of the year. Third quarter, Nebraska up 16-0 on Tech from the 14-yard line of the Red Raiders. Amon Green loses the ball at the goal line. Right guard John Zatechka recovers for the touchdown. He loves it. 22-0 Nebraska early in the fourth. Green holds on to this one. Seven-yard score. He runs for 178. Nebraska wins it 29-0. The shutout, the 40th straight win in Lincoln.